AITA for supporting my daughter's choice to politely turn down a boy's request for a date, hello everyone, my husband and I have been in disagreement about this all day, and I'd like some outside perspectives. My husband picked up our daughter, Cindy, from school today, and he noticed her speaking to a classmate she had previously liked. For context, last year during a sleepover, we overheard Cindy's friends playfully teasing her about having a crush on this boy. My husband joined in with some lighthearted jokes, like the classic a Cindy and, boy, sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-A-N-G, kind of teasing. He still occasionally brings it up, asking Cindy if she wants to invite her boyfriend when we go on family outings. Cindy never dated him or even became friends with him, as far as we know, my husband just likes to tease her. Anyway, it turns out the boy was injured in an accident over the summer and missed the first few weeks of school. When my husband saw them talking, he noticed that the boy had visible scars on his face and hands. Afterward, my husband asked Cindy about what they were talking about, mentioning that the boy seemed disappointed. Cindy explained that he had asked her out on a date, but she politely declined. My husband was upset with Cindy and scolded her, saying it was shallow of her to reject him just because his appearance had changed. Cindy came home in tears and told me what happened, insisting she had been polite but just wasn't interested in him romantically anymore. I told my husband he needed to apologize to Cindy, explaining that it's not right to make her feel bad for turning down someone's romantic advances. I reminded him that Cindy is old enough to decide who she's attracted to, and it wouldn't have been fair to say yes, out of pity, potentially leading him on. Now, my husband is saying he sees me differently, accusing me of teaching Cindy to be shallow and judgmental. He's also angry that I contradicted him when he was scolding Cindy, saying we shouldn't undermine each other's authority when disciplining our child. My intention wasn't to undermine him, I just think it's unhealthy to make Cindy feel guilty or ashamed for not being interested in someone. While I do feel bad for the boy, I don't believe it's anyone's place, neither mine nor my husband's, to tell Cindy who she should date or that she's a bad person for declining. Ita.